Look at this, Mitchell. No way, dude. I'm just on them right now. This might be a pike, though. Look at that. Beautiful North, South Dakota walleye right there. I almost said North Dakota, but first day. New day, new state, Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> new day, new state. Seven days, four different states, shooting content on all of them. Welcome back to the wild ride of walleye fishing. Mm -hmm. Traveling walleye fisherman, Mitchell. What Traveling indeed. What is going on, guys? Had to do it. We are back with another video today. It's me, we got Mitch. We are in South Dakota. Have I ever fished here before? No. Mitchell, have you ever fished here Not before? Not even close. Not even close. Immediately, not a whole lot of trees here. Second of all, a lot of lakes out here, isn't there? Yeah, the, on the drive in, we saw a ton of lakes actually. Yeah, and it's kind of a, we always get, you know, doing the YouTube, doing the Facebook, doing the seminars, all this different stuff. We always get messages and I always get comments. Hey, you should go fish, uh, you know, these prairie lakes fish a lot different than the lakes you guys talk about. They absolutely do. We figured that out pretty quick once we got here, but we're down here in South Dakota today and there's a ton of these like lakes that look just like this. Yeah. Shallow, flat, pretty, not a lot it's of stuff like going on. Hard for to tell if they're man-made, natural. Yeah, it's like, not a lot of stuff know. going on. Yeah. And uh, we kind of, we actually probably fished for four or five hours now. Yeah. It was a slow learning curve and then it kind of went like like that. And we just kind of figured a couple things out. And that's what we're gonna show today. We put, um, we already filmed some of the specifics. Two different patterns which we're gonna run today. Exactly what we're looking for on, on side imaging. Exactly the structure we're looking for. What parts of the lake we're seeing fish, where we're not. What those side imaging shots look like. We also put a couple of presentations on there. That's kind of our one-two punch. Exactly how we're fishing them and how we're rigging them. That's then great. it worked today. And it's kind of a fun little bite. Now, um, I guess there's not really anything left to do except start fishing, right Mitchell? That's right, let's go. So we're gonna start. One of those patterns is to cover water try to find fish and catch some fish along the way. The other pattern is more of a, uh, um, a specific pinpointed, pinpointed casting pattern. So we're gonna show you those two things. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We enjoy being on the road, traveling around, catching walleyes, shooting our experience, and hopefully it helps some of you guys. So um, without further ado, we're gonna drop the Dakota down, get to rocking and rolling here. Fish on, Mitchell. Fish on. Feeling decent. Oh yeah, nice walleye. All right guys, well I miss I'm eating a five hour old breakfast burrito. Got the first walleye of the day on here. First walleye of the video, I should say. I've been out here getting a few of them, still putting it together. And doing a pattern which Oh man, I'm gonna lose this fish. We're doing a pattern, which is a great pattern anytime you're dealing with covering a bunch of the shallow, dirty water. And that is pulling the Acme Rattling Spinner, which we just did a video on this on Winnemagosh. And we were trolling a bunch of water that was like seven, eight, nine big sand flats. Here we're running right down a gravel bank, trying to kind of locate some fish up in some of this shallow water. And you know, most of the time, if you're fishing four feet of water with a spinner rig um, and the water's clear, no shot you're catching a fish. But when you get a little bit of color to the water and you can sneak into some of these spots, it came a productive way to fish. And that fish came in four feet of water. And I am fishing kind of an old, all gold. You know, we got dirty water. So having that little rattle in there really helps those fish kind of find the bait and hunt that thing down in some of this colored up kind of. I don't even know what color you'd call this water, do you? Mm, it's like that greenish tint kind of. It's like a greenish water. farm pond tint to it. Wow, look at this, we're in some fish now, Mitchell. Well, that is definitely the color then, isn't it? I don't know if it's that or, I mean, you had a bite there too, if it's just we just came through a patch with some fish. And we went, definitely went a couple hundred yards. This is not gonna be a big walleye. I think another one of those nice eater sized ones if you're gonna keep them. We're not interested in keeping them. I don't even know how big they gotta be out here, Mitchell. Yeah, no idea. Don't but even look so that far because it doesn't matter. It seems to be a very healthy walleye lake in which we're on today. As there's a whole bunch of fish kind of like, you know, this size, 15, 16 inches, right in there. And the word on the street is, Mitchell, that there's big fish in here, isn't there? Yeah, that's what we were told. 
We've confirmed with multiple sources now there are big fish in this lake. We've also confirmed with multiple sources since being out here, guys going, hey, there's Tom Bull, let's go talk to him, which is awesome. I love when you guys come over and talk to me when I'm fishing, especially a place like this, because then I can say, oh, is there big fish in here? Is this a good day or is this an average day? And compared notes, because we are, have no idea we're in the dark, but people have claimed, Mitchell, that there's big walleyes in here, and maybe by the end of the day, we'll figure out some way, shape, form, or pattern uh, to get him to bite. What do you think? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. Because that is the goal. But catching walleyes on new body water, always very rewarding. And especially doing something like this, a pattern that we just pretty much never fish because most of the bodies water we go to, we're not trolling spinner rigs and look at this Mitchell. No way, dude. I'm just on them right now. This might be a pike though. You got one too? Yeah. Wow, we're doubled up, aren't we? No oh, my <laughs> You lost yours? This one might be a pike. You got the boat there? Yeah, I got the boat. Unless this is a walleye. If this is a walleye, we'll definitely want to scoop this one. Fast as you can get a bait in the water right now. Yeah, that little, uh, that small blade in that color is... Yeah, the all gold. Sure seems like it's the money. Take it right now. Actually, it's a nice walleye. Is it? It's a nice walleye. I'll scoop him. I'll scoop him. There you go. Dude, are we having some fun now on the Rattlemaster? There we go. It's a nicer fish, isn't it? We're definitely working up in the world. Mitchell, we're trying a few different colors. I got the straight gold one on, and uh, with that little gold rattle chamber in there, octopus hook, obviously, and just slapping a leech on there. And like we said, we kind of, two-fold patterns, that it looks like was what we're gonna be doing today. One, searching, finding, catching some fish, pulling spinners. I think we're definitely gonna be casting, um, kind of, you know, before too long here. And we're, look how, I mean, you guys can see how tight we're running. This is a real slow tapering bank, so <laughs> there we go. Real shallow water walleyes on the spinner rigs here. Come on. Right there, Mitchell. Fish on. Nice. Fish on. Feeling decent, feeling real decent. Maybe it's a gold thing, huh? <clears throat> definitely seems like it. It's all right, we got more of that. Feels like definitely nice walleye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It seems like these fish out in these real shallow prairie lakes, whether that's North Dakota, South Dakota, they all fight hard, eat baits hard. All that good kind of stuff. You wanna scoop them just so I don't lose them here at the boat? Keep an eye on you. He's gonna come up right here. Nice fish, really nice fish. There we go. <laughs> oh, it feels good putting it together, doesn't it? Yeah. You got one, you got one, you got one too. We're doubled up. We're doubled up. How's yours feeling? Feels all right. It does look nice. I'm just gonna stop like us so we don't waste a bunch of water here. Probably about a 15 inch or something like that. You gonna flip them? Yeah, yeah, he's I'll about a flipper size yeah, one. He's a small one. There we go, though. This is oh, getting fun. Pretty thick, guy. too. We'll go ahead and unhook them. Hooked with the octopus hook right in the corner. Feisty. This is definitely turning into be a fun bite, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at that beautiful North South Dakota walleye right there. I almost said North Dakota, but first day walleye fishing out here in South Dakota. I love it. Back he goes. We'll get set up, catch a whole pile more on the old rattling spinner and a leech. All right, guys, so the first pattern we're fishing is pulling the Acme rattling walleye spinner on uh, just a spinning rod like this in really shallow water. And if you guys are sitting all that kind of rigging stuff, we put it all on the Walleye Now app. Um, it'll be titled Fish or just Bottom? Oh, I got it. It'll be titled something to the effect of South Dakota Super Shallow Spinners. And this is, we just shot something at Winnie like this, but we were doing it a very different way. We were fishing a very different type of structure. And uh, that was just for the most part, large flats. We were kind of driving the boat right at schools of fish. This is much more like in and out, a much more structure related thing that relies heavily on the side imaging. So we're using this presentation to obviously cover water, see fish, hopefully catch some fish and kind of do all that good stuff all at the same time here. Oh, oh. Fish on. Right there. 
This is Mitchell's relieving himself. Yeah. Is we chugging, got the right thing on here, Mitchell. Chugging water. Is it we the got right the thing? night thing on here. It is. It is. He's coming in right. Uh, I don't want. I'm trying to. Right where you're doing your business, <laughs> there, Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this a fun pattern, man? Anytime you can go do something different and learn oh, a little bit on the way. The bottom here. It is uh, a good time in my book. I just spilled the leeches up there, though. Yeah. Not big, but it is fun. I mean, awesome. Oh, there, there you go. go. You got one too. Yep. Mitchell's hooked up too. That's looking good, huh? Yeah, you got right. Mr. Pike on. There we go. 15 inches. I don't think it's a pike. I think it's a walleye. Come on. We walleye. Just we got walleye. It's right no. on that waypoint again. Another Mitchell. 15. Well, you know, maybe we need to cast at that, huh? What's that? So maybe we need to cast yeah, at that we've here kinda a little have bit. Definitely honed in on a little stretch of shoreline that seems to have some fish. Now, it sounds great in theory to say, oh yeah, we'll just uh, go there and cast and catch a ton of them, but. Does it always work like that? I guess when you watch like uh, fishing shows on TV, it always works like that, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, this isn't quite as scripted as that, I would say. No, there's no scripts on there. Oh, the guy spilled the leech water. Yeah, there wasn't many leeches left in that one, though. Fish on, Mitchell. Nice. Feeling maybe not like a walleye though. No? Very pikeish or what? Oh, it is a nice walleye. Oh, here we go. <laughs> right on the waypoints we were casting. Right there. On the tickle shad. Just like that. Sniped her right off the bottom. Nice Literally 15 right inch. On the waypoints. Yep. And sometimes it just works out like that, where you say something to the camera and the fish do the same thing and you get you one right in the queue now. We can sit here and like catch three, four more, and then we'd look really cool. Fish on, Mitchells. Nice. Ooh. Dumped it real good. Did it? Yeah, it's nice walleye, exciting. nice walleye, nice walleye. <laughs> uh, well, the casting pattern. We have not put a ton of fish or anything real nice in the boat yet. I mean, just a bunch of these, you know, chunky 15 inchers, but casting patterns more revolving around. Seems like mostly hard bottom, isn't it? Yeah. It's the only place like we can kind of find bottom, fish yeah. really pinned up. And like I've said probably too many times now, we filmed a kind of a piece on what we're seeing on these spots on the Walleye Now app. And with any luck, Mitch, I'll be able to put a few more together and maybe land something a little bigger, eh? Hopefully. Mitchell, right there, right off the bat. Fish on. That was quick. <laughs> right there. Ugh. If it's not a pike, it's a good walleye. It's feeling more walleye than pike. Come on. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. It seems like spinner is probably a little more effective, huh? Yeah, especially for nicer sized fish. And not a super big one, but I mean another nice, you know, 16 incher here. Man, are they thick and fat, aren't they? And it's like, it kind of seems like uh, I think it, the weather is off. I could be wrong though. I feel like something's making whoa, whoa, whoa! Something happened to these fish where they don't really, really, really want to bite. But we are sneaking a few out. Just nothing super big. I mean, a lot of these nice pudgy. 16, 17 inch walleyes, which we'll, we will absolutely take it for our first time here, won't we? Yeah. No doubt about that. On, doesn't it? It's fresh right Yeah, there. well, literally saying. I think it's just kind of how it is, Mitchell. Like, yeah. And we just did I didn't some even get to put a leech on mine yet. This could be a pike though. That's how quick that happened. Oh, that looks like a pike. That's a walleye. No, it's a walleye. Oh. Well, it just kind of seems like no matter what we do, we can catch like a fish or two, but when we really start catching fish is with the spinners. Yeah. There we go. Another nice South Dakota walleye on the rattling spinner rig. Fun little pattern for sure. Tons of these fish. As long as you give them what you want, you just kind of keep catching them, it seems like. Is it a wrap, Mitchell? It is a wrap. It is a wrap. 
It was a good day though. Wrapped up. It was a Done. fun day. Wrapped up. Am I even in the frame? What's going on with this right now? Uh, there we go. There you go. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for our first day down here. Good old South Dakota. In South Dakota, caught a pile of walleyes. I mean, absolutely no complaints. Did we get anything huge? Absolutely not. But this lake must just be, there must be a lot of these fish in, and we must have been doing the exact thing that they were doing, because obviously it was productive. Caught a pile of fish, and it was like anytime we'd get into an area that had fish, we could just pretty much rake it. Yeah, for sure. It was just, just so much fun coming to somewhere new all the time. And it is. Seeing just how different lakes break down, and I don't know, just everything about it. It's, it's different, but the same principles apply, seems like everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere we go, same principles. Wow, I can't even Same speak right now. Apply. I was going to say, the funnest <laughs> part of my job is hands down going to places I've never been and trying to break down a bite. And yep. uh, anytime you're catching fish like on new body water like this, always very rewarding, especially when you get kind of put a pattern together. But um, we might fish tomorrow morning, we might not. I don't know. We're actually headed down to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, to do an awesome shield seminar. No idea when this video is going to come out. Actually, it'll probably will come out tomorrow morning. So uh, I guess the day you watch this, that evening, We'll I will be at Shields, Shields. in Saint, or Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And uh, any other important business announcements? I'm not really sure right now. Oh, I guess big thank you. It's been amazing. If you guys weren't around to hear it, see that video maybe or not, um, me and Shelby started a clothing company, Contour Fishing Clothing Co. And we we're actually blown away by their support. And I'll link the website down in the description, a ton of like awesome walleye merchandise looks something like this and a whole bunch of other designs, Tom Boley stuff as well. But um, we got a lot of cool stuff in the works there. If you guys haven't checked it out, link down in the description, Contour Fishing Clothing Code. And uh, yeah, super excited about that as well. But um, even more excited than that is how excited Mitchell is for a sub sandwich from Subway. Oh. That's like living the high life when you're on the road. Mitch says no more gas station food, it's too much. He says he's just not it's, feeling good because it's of disgusting. it. It's disgusting. Even Subway's disgusting, but you have to it's, embrace, it's better than- You have to embrace the grind. Yeah, I've been embracing it, now I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is gonna wrap up today's video from South Dakota, the first and only South Dakota video we have on the channel so far. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.